lack of lost remission, loss of physical and mental and how far and no, that sort mm -hmm. of thing. But then gradually, after um, the second home for striking to have our comrades day in page blocks, we were looking at our position in the prison and we felt, you know, we're going to have to work it some other way. We tried yeah. so long, by then it was what, the end of 81, and we'd been on this protest for nearly six years. Which protest was at the, well, we'd been on the no work, then we went on the no wash, mm -hmm. and then we came off the no wash. When Bobby Sands went on home strike, we came off the no wash so that it all focus could be placed on the hunger right. strike, you know, because yeah. we learned from the first one that um, being on the no wash didn't allow us the same opportunities to communication in that job. Right. So we learned from that and right. we came off the no wash and we just stayed on the no work. But at the end of that we realised, you know, we're going to have to change the tactics. So we felt that maybe we should move some, about five women into the system and see if we could fight the structure within the system mm -hmm. and build up ourselves from within the system. And what do you mean by within the system? Move off the no work program, right, move see. into the system and try to break down right. you know, all the things that they'd set up against us, you mm -hmm. see. So that would mean giving some semblance of conformity then? Well, what they would turn yeah, but they would, yeah. yeah, but of course they don't turn. They still consider us non conformist. Right. So we move five into the system <coughs> to see how it would work. Now those five were very severely punished. Now, the administration realised at that time, obviously, what we were doing, mm -hmm. you know. So they came out and they really, they, at that time there was no isolation wing mm -hmm. and they introduced an isolation wing. Boards, what we call that is thrown into solitary for three days, solitary confinement. Mm -hmm. Your cells completely stripped, you're left with, um, you're left with nothing, you're just left with a bar cell in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And they give you the mattress in at uh, about half, half seven at night and you come in the next morning at half seven, take it out again, you're left all day just in boards, you know, mm -hmm. with the floor. And this type of, you know, there's an increase in punishment in that sense. And it ended up the fact that we'd sent off, but being more severely punished than us, we were still on in a work protest. Right. You know, we were just getting the usual, you know, locked up during working mm -hmm. hours, lost of remission, lost. Mm -hmm. But these ones were getting far more psychological torture, mm -hmm. you see. And what, did they give any reason for that? Or did they try to justify no, it in any way? No, they don't. They don't, they don't have to. They feel they have to. Yeah, in Ireland they don't feel that, mm -hmm. just to buy anything, they mm -hmm. just do. Now, so we, we saw the harassment increasing, but no matter how much you lock a person up, it can, of course it can affect people. But they've done similar to this before, and okay, throwing you into a bar cell, so you're still being locked up for days and then. Mm -hmm. No, really, it's, yeah, they're depriving you of all privileges, but you, you know, mm -hmm. can be handled, and they, I think they felt themselves it wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that, that doing that actually strengthened the result of the, the women? Oh, yeah, it strengthens your determination. Yeah, you're either going to, you're going to have to you either survive it or you don't survive it. Mm -hmm. And if, you've, if you can, you have to fight the whole time. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing that's going to keep you going. Mm -hmm. If you don't fight, you just fall down and they, mm -hmm. walk, they walk over you completely, mm -hmm. and you're, you know, you're finished, like, because mm -hmm. they just go in and show off, you know. Mm -hmm. but, Determination, comradeship is a big thing, comradeship is a big But just to finish that, then we felt 1982, at the end of that, strip search was introduced. Right. Now, it's our belief it was introduced as a political decision mm -hmm. because they had been stepping up harassment and they knew we were moving into the system mm -hmm. gradually and they felt that so far all types of, you know, punishment hadn't worked. And this really was their last, it was this their trump card, yeah. yeah. And the whole idea there was, um, you know, to pick on the romans. The romans were going to be the ones who were going to eventually be sentenced with us. Right. And they said, right, and they're coming in. And most of them come in very young. Of course, there's elderly ones as well who also suffer from the strict surgeon. And that's the time to try and, you know, psychologically get in there and break them. Mm -hmm. And we felt that was the whole thing behind it, that you cannot understand strip surgeon unless you look at a, a historical analysis of what has happened throughout the years in prison, mm -hmm. you know. So then we started strip surgeon. Every time the romance were going out to court, which is once a week, they have to go out to court. Mm -hmm. So so it was only 200 yards, the court house from our land prison. Brought them down, stripped them completely naked. If they refused to strip, they were held down by up to 10 female screws came in, held them down, threw them down on the ground and stripped them completely naked, right. forcibly, mm -hmm. and once we're getting beaten. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is just the care of this. And, uh, you know, they just got stuck in, do you? you know? mm -hmm. Not only you're completely vulnerable, and we felt, you know, 
right? They're taking you down there and they keep going. You're totally on your own. And the whole idea behind it is you're there on your own. Comradeship is a thing so important to you and you. Right. Your comrades are back there. And they're right. trying to, you they're know, passionate about that. Yes. Right. They're, they know what you, keeps you strong. So therefore, they're trying to find something that's going to break that strength. So they isolate you and strip you naked and that's... And you're, they think stripping you totally mm -hmm. you're dead there. Mm -hmm. And you're standing there naked. They're going through your clothes while you're just standing there naked. Mm -hmm. And then they come in, rub your hands, lift your feet up, rub your feet, turn around. Just as, just as it's indicated in the play, mm -hmm. that is exactly how they do. Mm -hmm. And you know, you're standing there and you're saying, I, I know exactly what they're trying to do here. Mm -hmm. I know what it is. And you just have to keep your mind on other things or just, well, really what I did was, I know what you're trying to do to me. I knew I'm going to get away with it because I know, I understand what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you're the only one that's not me. Mm -hmm. You know, and I am, you're the one with the problem here. Right. So that's the way I just did it, you know, on, on my way out of jail. Like, I was in prison. I was never strip searched because when I was a remand, I did there was no strip searching mm -hmm. and I was at inter-prison visits and you're supposed to be strip searching those mm -hmm. but I refused to take the visit if I was to be strip and they said okay if you refuse to if you refuse to strip you forfeit that visit so I mm -hmm. didn't get any inter-prison visits anymore so my first strip was actually the day I was being released right. and I felt then walking out after mm -hmm. 10 and a half years and I was just saying to myself that this is it, this is the final kick, you know, the yeah. final insult we're going to hit you with, you yeah. know. Because I want well, what's a big security risk there, I mean, walking yeah. out of our Montgomery prison as it was. You know, there is no security mm -hmm. risk. But I knew that, but it isn't a security thing. No. It's not, because even, and I think the one example that proves this, is the day we were moved from our Mount prison to Montgomery prison, that was in the 18th of March in 1986. Right. They were moving what they termed us as the top security Republican prisoners then. And they felt that that's why a strip search was introduced because we were on such, quote, terrorists and therefore we were a big security risk to move anyway. They moved all of us from our land and drug prison. And they never stripped all of us. Because they knew they couldn't strip us all because public pressure may increase the mm -hmm. So they wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. But the next day they took two of our lands out to Lisbon Court, which is only down the road from Derby Prison, and they struck them. Mm -hmm. And they had, these police women hadn't been in contact with anybody else. It was just within mm -hmm. the, just the, the prison. Mm -hmm. They take you out from where you're stripped, mm -hmm. put you into a van, it's a lorry, and there's cells in the lorry. Right. You're locked into a cellular compartment. Yeah. And within the van. Right, you're escorted then, usually by four or five college sprints. You're escorted down to the court. You're taken out of the the safe compartment. You're escorted into a cell in the Lisbon Court. You're brought upstairs, you appear in Lisbon Court for a bit of a minute. You're brought back down, locked back in the cell, and you bring you out, like you, lock you back into the compartment. You don't see anybody, you don't even see your sister. Mm -hmm. The sister has to come up to jail to see you if he wants to see you. Right. You don't see anybody, and you're brought straight back to the prison. Mm -hmm. So that again would just reinforce the thing that, that it isn't the security thing, it's just a fantasy mm -hmm. that there's, there's absolutely no they feel, logic. It's a, they feel it's a means to torture a place and oppress them. Mm -hmm. And they feel that it's really the only thing that they have because we've been through so much that, you know, mm -hmm. they think that maybe this is the thing that will get mm -hmm. So they just systematically try and bury things and that was the, that's a trump card. The strip search is a trump card. And so far they haven't come up with something else. But they probably will because they're always trying. Yeah. You know, people at work on it. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing, you know, you've already sort of briefly touched on it there. Um, you've seen the play, Simon with Dad and Lennon in rehearsal. Um, how do you feel about that in relation to the strip search campaign? Or in re relation to the issue of strip searching? Well, I feel it comes, it's very effective, as I say, I've seen it. And uh, I find it very moving. Mm -hmm. And I find parts of it amusing because it reminded me so much mm -hmm. of the jail, it reminded me of McGabry, of the women sitting around talking, you mm -hmm. know, before the other Patsy comes in. And I felt that was very effective. But the strip search itself, when you the way you've carried it out and um, I just feel it's very effective and it, and it hits, you know, it mm. was emotional the first time I saw it, you know, a lump came in my throat because it does remind me. Mm -hmm. And I feel that the women themselves inside who have already told about it, told them about it, would be, the, in fact, they would love to see it, of course you're not going to see it, <laughs> but um, well, they'll see it eventually. But I know they would love it too. Mm. 
and all the other women read Shanat who have also seen it. Yeah. They said to me, what did I feel? And I said, well, I thought it was very good. And they said, yes, they thought so too. And I really do. I th it does. It's, um, it's very... It's hard to explain, you know, it's hard to explain a strip search unless you've been through it. But that really does show it mm -hmm. as close as what you can ever do without getting through it. And that's my feelings yeah. about it. And I feel that the, the poem that accompanies it, mm -hmm. you know, it just gives that whole, it just gives a whole sinister atmosphere, which is what is actually being fostered. Yeah, when you're fostering the fitness when you're, see when you're in there, mm -hmm. you, just, you just feel it. And you feel that when that's when you're reading that out. You just feel alone, you know. Mm. You just if you feel it's all all the feelings are coming across, and that's mm. why I feel it is so emotive, and I mm -hmm. the first time.